This video is sponsored by Nail Addicts, maker of a large array of vegan, non-toxic, cruelty-free gel nail polishes. So if you want an incredible, long-lasting manicure at home, try Nail Addicts Vegan Gel Polishes. Follow the link in the description box below and use code PEGGY, P-E-G-G-Y, for 50% off of the purchase of two or more products. Thank you very much, Nail Addict. Yes, I'm hooked. Hello and welcome to Peggy's Plants, coming to you from Central Florida. Today I'd like to take you along with me on a plant shopping trip at the Lowe's Garden Center, just to see what there is to see. It's that time of year where most garden centers have been taken over by Christmas trees, our poinsettias, which you can see this store has plenty of, and they're absolutely beautiful. But let's see what else there is to see. I love these all grouped together like this though. Very striking. First thing that's catching my eye is this Vanda orchid. If you're not familiar with these orchids, yeah, they're all about the roots. You don't plant these in soil or anything like that. This is how they grow. And you don't find these often in the big box stores. And this one is $34. Very nice. It's all about those roots. I think they are so cool looking. And then over here, you might know I've been looking for my big Monstera Del Deliciosa with the fenestrated mature leaves that they used to have for $15. Now these are 30 and they're much smaller, much smaller than the one I had found before for 15. So I'm still on the hunt. I should have purchased it when I saw it. Lesson learned. Here are some more over here. Let's see how much these are. These are $25 and they are also smaller than the ones that were previously $15. So I'm gonna pass on these as well. Look at this Alocasia Regal Shield. Look at the size of that leaf. Absolutely beautiful. These are common um, landscaping plants in this area. $17, very tempting. And take a look over here at this Calathea arrangement. This Calathea is absolutely beautiful. I love the patterns on these plants. I'm still intimidated by them, but um, absolutely beautiful. They have it in here grouped with a golden pothos, and it is being offered for $37. And there's a little Diefenbachia over here too. Not really aesthetically pleasing to me, but okay. And over here, we have some philodendron and fiddly figs. Let's see how much these are. $120. They have gone up quite a bit. I mean, the price on these had really come down. I'm, I'm shocked by that. And over here, look at this philodendron Brazil. You don't find these all the time. They're not rare. I wouldn't even say necessarily hard to find, but every now and then they're here. This is a nice full pot. Very nice. And as you can see, this cart is just like full of everything. Look at this Cebu Blue Pothos. I've been finding these everywhere lately. $15 for a nice full pot that's already trailing and everything. Very nice, very nice, very tempting. <laughs> and I know you Hoya people see this over here. Yeah, this is a nice full hanging pot of, let's see what it says. It says Bilobata. Um, I think this is not a bilobata. I don't know a lot about Hoyas, but I think it's that Bertoni or you know what I'm talking about if you're a Hoya person. More of the Bra Brazils for $20. And then over here we have the Costa Farms trending tropical display. They have some of the ones that they have not had out since the very beginning. Like this Aransonii was one of the first plants they put out in their collection. Plenty of Trubii Moonlights. Here's the Maculata 
maculata whitei and the peperomia polybotria so and they're all twenty dollars each now hanging over here again more cebu blue pothos so if you're in the central florida area the tampa area um and you're wanting a cebu blue pothos check out the lowe's and home depot as well i've seen them in so more trending tropicals the begonias over here zz ravens just some of everything and again these are all 20 dollars a piece more trubii moonlights nice selection of plants and let's check out these last bit of Monstera Deliciosa to see if these are going to be my $15 ones. And no, they are not. Oh, well. And here is what I bought. I didn't come home empty handed. I was able to find one last huge Monstera Deliciosa with the um, fully mature, fenestrated leaves. And um, it's not as full as the ones that I saw for $15 before, but I mean, this was the one with the biggest leaves and that's really what I was going for. I really want these big mature leaves with the fenestrations. And look over here, it's got a new leaf unfurling. So that's kind of exciting. And how much did I pay for this plant? Well, like I said, before I had found them for $15 and you saw what the prices were for all of them that I was looking at, but I was able to find this one for whatever reason for $15. So I was able to get my plant. Like I said, not as full as the others, but I'm happy. The other plant that I bought is going to surprise you because it's a Hoya. Yes, I had to pick up this Hoya. There's something about these leaves that I just really like, the, the thickness or something. I can't stop touching the leaves on this plant. So I had to pick this up as well. Look how full this is. And I'm not a big Hoya person. So like I said, I just have a few but for $20, this nice hanging pot of Hoya, not Bilabata, um, I can't, I'm going to find the name of this plant and I'm sure some of you will tell me, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the texture of the leaves, the thickness of them, and it seems to be really happy up here in my plant room under this grow lag. So thanks for coming along with me on my short Lowe's shopping trip. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.